Hey all, Jerry here, and this is a completely different video I'm making. So I'm pretty sure everyone's all aware of the uh, 360 Marketplace shutdown. I mean, this is like, what, Wednesday I'm recording this right now? Shut down like two days ago. This just looks so odd about the Xbox Live Gold thingy in the middle. It just looks weird. But no, uh, that's not the only thing I had that I was going to do. I was going to show everyone what, what I bought before the store shut down, but... I mean, the store doesn't shut there anymore, but, like, it still shows some of my pins. Like, let's look at this one, for example. Need for Speed Most Wanted. Yeah? See, so, look, look, look at this. Like, it doesn't show, uh, can't show or anything like that. But what's odd is I can view the DLC. I'm going to go on like a completely random uh, thing. Like the, the complete DLC bundle. Just give it a minute to load. Yeah, see right there. I mean, I, yeah, I got 69 cents. Haha, <laughs> funny, but... It shows I can add a payment option. I, I know I got to enter in a card on my Series X and whatnot, but I just thought this was weird. Because I, I figured most of the stuff would be shut down. And, uh, yeah, these these are the three games I didn't get DLC for yet. I did for one of them, but I wasn't too sure. But if I'm able to buy buy some of these in my pen, I think I could, but I'm not too sure. Anyways, that's not what was important. What is, is what I wanted to show everyone that I bought. So what I have is a uh, 500 gigabyte hard drive in the uh, 360. And it's a oh I have like a 408 gigs left. That's that's incre that's incredible. 50.5 gigabytes. Wow. So yeah, I, I didn't buy much on the store, but I will like uh I will go into like what I did actually buy. Starters, let's uh, good talk. I can just get my tripod. another connect game something missed it so i got that i got alien isolation that that's something i'm gonna get that's on my wish list oh uh, i bought Nan banjo kazooie nuts and bolts this game actually had dlc i don't know why xbox neglected that because they technically own rare rare it just baffles me uh, i got i got bioshock infinite i had the uh I had the season collectioner, I forgot what it was called. But like it basically gave me all that for free. Got some of the Blaze Blue DLC, which I had no idea existed. It's crazy how this isn't on PS3. Uh Bomberman. I found this game called uh Calaterus. Calaterus. Uh, never heard of it in my entire life, but it had a re release I think on Switch and PS4. Not too sure. This does have a physical copy in Japan. Don't know why we can't get one in America. Like, like I said, I haven't played that game, so I'll check that out. Carnival Games. This is uh, apparently a Kinect game, but it's called Carnival Games Monkey See, Monkey Do. I guess. Crimson Alliance. That game's kind of fun with some friends. Dark Stalker, Dark Stalkers... Resurrection. That one's an actually interesting finding game. Never got uh, far into it. But apparently there was a bunch of arcade cabinet DLC skins or something. I'll look into that. Darts vs. Zombies. Oh yeah, you'll be seeing like a bunch of Kinect games I bought on here. It's quite crazy. 
Dead Rising, Dead Rising had DLC, and no one bothered to bring it up. Uh, Destination Arcade does not work. I don't know what its original purpose is, but it has awards that I can't even achieve. A Diabolical Pinch. Disney Fantasy. Oh yeah, this is some of the DLC stuff. Oh, shoot. Oh, I did not bother looking at the DLC for that. Whoops. Oh, well, you can just always pirate it. But I need a better console for that. Uh, we got Piano Sheep for Eternal so Sonata. Sonata. Yes, Sonata. Fable the Journey. I didn't know this game existed, and people did not want to bring this up. Crazy. Fantastic Pets. Field Goal Contest. Uh, okay, I didn't buy anything on 13.2. I was going to buy every game that is backwards compatible on Series X. I was going to focus on buying DLC there. No, on 360. I was only bothering with the 360 exclusives like Free Fall Races. Fruit Ninja Connect. I I played Fruit Ninja on an iPad Mini in 2012. No, 2013, my bad. But I never heard of the Connect version. This would probably work the same way. And there is a, a sequel of Fruit Ninja Connect that was on the Xbox One because of the Connect feature that was pushed on by some British guy. But that's completely lost forever in the sands of time. And you can't mod an Xbox One for some odd reason, so yeah. Gears of War also had DLC. How is this not on Series X? I got some myself some of the other free DLC that you couldn't get on Series X for some reason. I don't know why. No, Halo Waypoint does not work. I don't know why. Uh, Happy Tree Friends uh, got delisted on PS3. I don't know when, but I know this is the last remaining evidence of it on 360, so I bought it. The game's actually kind of intriguing. I guess I can't really recommend it to people who want to buy it, but uh, you can mod your console. Just mod an Xbox 360 Slim, and you get every game and DLC for it for free. So you can try to get that. Because the best game ex experience from my experience is a free game, instead of like paying $60 or something for it. Haunt, Home Run Stars, never bothered with their next part. Kung Fu Panda, I forgot what S-O-L-L -L means, but I'll look into that. This had like a lot of DLC, and I was able to buy a whole bunch of it. It wasn't even that expensive. Connect Joyride, Connect Party, Connect Party, we play fit. Connect Sports, Sports Season 2. Oh, Shut up. Cancel. Sorry. Forgot I had my Connect hook up to that. Uh, Connect the Moles King's Quest. That is from the complete, uh, yeah, the complete collection. I hope I didn't need some of the other previous stuff. The entirety of L.A. Noir. Look at this. I was able to get all of this, and this is not even on the Series X. How? I know there's a remaster, a definitive edition, but I could care less. Playing on the 360 just seems right. Uh, Led me... Oh, this is something I want to point out. Left 4 Dead. These, you could actually get this on the 360, along with the second game. You can't download these for some odd reason on the Series X. Or Steam. Like, they're completely delisted. I think Left 4 Dead 2 had pre-order DLC. I think. We got Mini Ninjas Adventures. Oh yeah, I did go on my way to buy some Need for Speed stuff. Uh, got Most Wanted, Carbon, Rivals, Uncover, and this is just my normal game data for a uh, Hot Pursuit. Need for Speed's fun. Uh... Got my got some DLC of Oblivion, but like I said, I can get it on the Series X. No biggie. Once Upon a Monster. This had DLC. This is a Kinect game, by the way. 
This was also on Series X. I made the mistake buying it on here. Don't know why. Penalty Saver, Ping Pong, Planet. Oh wait, that that's just a normal game save. I, that that this one doesn't have DLC. I don't know why. Uh, Garden Warfare. This is updates, but, but apparently they're D they're like uh, DLC. I don't know why, but I bought them. The entirety of Prey. If I didn't get this, I would have missed out on a good bit. Because I hear Prey's a good game, the remake was not good, but Nesta screwed up by canceling the sequel. Uh, Prize Driver. Uh, Rabbit's Invasion. Yes, I bought this. Reaction Relay. Risen 3. I don't know why this wasn't on Series X. The first two are. The third isn't. Which is just weird. Uh, Ski Race. Oh yeah, that's right. I bought the uh, bought the Legendary Edition, so I just had that installed. Uh, get Smosh. This is a real thing. There's a Smosh app on the 360. I mean, it doesn't work, but that's just weird how that was a thing. Good thing I have it on there. Uh, Sega, Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing, dude. I can see why there was only two things of DLC on the uh, PS3. This is a cheat DLC. You can unlock everyone. That's actually funny. Uh, oh yeah, Sonic 06 had more DLC than it did on PS3. On PS3, you could only get the uh, the uh, hard missions. It just says hard. Why does it say that? But yeah, you can only get the these three hard missions on PS3. Not any of these additional episodes. Like Shadow Boss Attack, Silver Boss Attack, Sonic Boss Attack, and Team, Team Attack Amigo. Whatever that is. But once I get Sonic 06, I can get achievements in that and like figure out what the DLC episodes were. Uh, South Park. Oh wait, this is the uh, Tower Defense one. Uh, Tenerman's Revenge. Apparently you couldn't buy some of the Stick of Truth stuff at, uh, on the Series X. Uh, 360-wise, you could on one, but not 360, so I got it on the Series X. Well, I got it here, then installed on there. I got the entirety of the Crew DLC. Yeah, that's something, uh, the Gunslinger. Uh, Viva Pinata. This had DLC that you couldn't get on the Series X. Still don't understand why. But this is the only Viva, Viva Pinata game you could get with DLC. The rest don't have it, and I looked. Yup, TV is another, uh, app. Kind of like Smosh. It doesn't work. And yeah, that. Oh, wait, there, there's more. Uh, profile. No. Wrong thing. I went on my way and downloaded a whole bunch of videos. I'm sure some people didn't know I'm a Final Fantasy 13 fan and I downloaded the Resonance of Fate announcement trailer because I thought it looked cool. But yeah, I, I, I downloaded all these before the store went away. And I had a few themes. A Dr. Pepper Need for Speed theme. I can't believe this is real. A Dr. Eggman theme. Uh, got two of the 13 themes. Halo, I guess. I bought some of the Sonic 06 DLC. That being the themes. There's a Planche for Zombies theme I got as well. And Skyliners, I guess. I mean, that was a free theme anyway. Uh, gamer picks. I didn't get much except for Alien Isolation, 13-2, and Sonic 06. And the Avatar items I bought were also 13 related. I mean, some of these could be just like, like unlocked in the game. Like, I, I bought some of these on the store, including the uh, lightsaber 
I thought that was pretty cool. But that is pretty much all I have bought on the 360 marketplace before it shut down. Okay, that yeah, I see that. But yeah, that's that's all I bought. And it's all saved on the hard drive. I doubt this video served much of a purpose aside from showcasing what I bought. But I may do an experiment with what I did recover. So if you liked the video, I guess like and subscribe. Let me know what was your favorite Xbox game or what DLC you bought before the store shut down. And I'm I am working on some of my videos, I just wanted to point that out since I'm gonna show show this off on Twitter. Yeah.